The Build Material Manager introduces a concept called embedded routings. And what that is is that wherever I'm looking at a build material within the Build Material Manager, the routing or associated routings is embedded right into the structure right along with the build material. To, get, to view an example of that, well, let's open up a build material and we'll just go in WF. 201B, bring up a bill of material in a multi-level format. So what we're looking at is just a standard bill of material uh, in a multi-level format. And what we see is the different structure, the different levels, and the levels are kind of coded by different colors. So in the first color, we're looking at the darker blue. We see that there's a routing at the first step. This is the routing for the parent item, WF201B. And when I hit the little plus, I expand that routing and see that routing embedded right along with the bill of material structure I'm looking at. Likewise, I can go down to the CS2004B, and it has associated routing as well. When I click on that routing, I will see its routing associated with. So no matter how deep I go on this, all of the routings associated with this structure are there embedded within this product structure along with the bill of material that I can take a look at. Just to show you the consistency of that application along different bills of material type, we're going to go in now to a job bill of material. And I'm just going to bring up a job 55 and bring up its bill material. Now job 55 has a number of sub jobs as we see. Uh, but at the top we see for sub job 000 we have its routing. And when I click on that I'm viewing the routing for sub job 000. If I come down here to the sub job 1, expand that, I see its structure along with its routing embedded right along with it. When I click the plus sign there, I'm now looking at the routing for sub job 1. Likewise, I go down to sub job 4, I see its structure, it has a routing, and I can see its structure right there along with it. So wherever I am within the Bill of Material Manager, and I'm looking at these Bills of Material, the, the routing is there embedded right along with it. And finally, just to show you that application in a sales order, for a sales order bill material, we're entering in sales order bill material, uh, sales order 62, line 1. Uh, again, we see the routing at the top. That's the routing for the parent item. Uh, we see the CS2005B, which it has a routing. And at any level, I can go in and take a look at that. Whereas in Made to Manage, as I mentioned, you have to go in and look at a separate detail routing or separate detail bill material. You never see the two uh, structures side by side.